Hello everyone, Victor Tanzig here, and welcome to the Reddit Railway. Today's destination is r slash entitled people, so all aboard! I bought my first house 12 years ago. It had a pool in the backyard and my parents bought me and my wife a hot tub as a wedding slash homewarming gift. Two weeks after moving in, we had gone out for a while. When we came back, we found a stranger and six teenage kids swimming in our pool. There was the entitled mother, entitled daughter, and entitled son, and what I assume were their friends and partners. When we told them to get out, the entitled mother told me the previous owner gave them permission to come over whenever they wanted to swim. I explained to her that I was the new owner and that I was not okay with that. She yelled and started fake crying, calling me a bad neighbor and selfish for forcing her kids to sweat in the summer heat. She told me that if they died of heat stroke, it would be my fault. I told her to get the F off my property and never return. I then put up multiple no trespassing signs, but that didn't seem to do much. After a while, we found evidence people were still using our pool when we were asleep or away. I'm talking beer cans, cigarette butts, and even a used condom. I figured it had to be the entire mother or her brats. After installing some cameras, I caught the kids and their friends hanging out in my pool. We decided to teach them a lesson. That Friday night, we drove a short distance away, parked the car, and then sneaked back into the house. The kids and their friends soon showed up. They get right down to business and even go skinny dipping in our pool and hot tub. Why a bro and sis would do that together still bothers me. They have beer and I can smell the weed from inside the house. Two of them even start getting intimate in the pool. After a while, we spring our trap. My wife flipped on the back lights and I come marching out with my rifle in hand. They all have a deer in headlights look on their faces and are completely silent for a full minute. The entire Dora starts to tell us that she has permission to be there and that I need to let them get dressed. I tell them that if they move towards me or my property, I would consider this an attack and shoot. They must have believed me because they froze. Some of the kids beg me for their clothes. Not being a total jerk, I say I'll throw them over, which I do. All of their clothes, phones, and purses end up in the water. This, of course, freaks them out. I should point out that my wife called the police after flipping on the lights. They arrive 10 minutes later and get the kids out of the pool. Their clothes and phones are completely soaked. I show the police the videos from our cameras, the no trespassing signs, and explain the entire situation to them. The kids were arrested for trespassing, possession of a controlled substance, underage drinking, and indecent exposure. As the kids are being taken away, the entire mother shows up. She demands the police let her kids go, and even tries to open the door on one of the cruisers. The police threaten to arrest her if she doesn't back off, which she does. I later found out all the kids took pleas, so their charges were reduced. They were given community service, fines, and probation. We got a restraining order against entitled mother and her brats so they couldn't bother us again. We had our pool drained, disinfected and refilled, and got a professional cleaning crew to take care of the kids' mess. I had my parents' attorney send the bill to entitled mother with a letter stating that if she didn't pay in 30 days, we would sue her for a larger amount. She sent a check to my attorney. About a year later, the entire family moved away Way, and we never heard from them again. Good riddance to useless rubbish. If someone tells you to get off their property, you do it. Simple as that. I'm very glad OP called the police and the kids got arrested. Hopefully this will be the wake-up call they need to know there are consequences to bad behavior. And the OP is right to be bothered about why a brother and sister would go ski dipping together. That's just wrong. <laughs> My father had a best friend whom he had known for years. This friend was sterile and asked my father for a donation. Dad agrees on the condition he not be involved in the child's life since he was already with my mum and had another child in the form of my older sister Lily. The friend agrees and the donation happens. They have a daughter named Petunia. Unfortunately, the friend died when she was four months old. Petunia's mother later marries a very rich man and that's that. Fast forward 16 years and Petunia finds dad on Facebook and demands to see him. He's careful and tries to get hold of her mother. No luck. Then one day, Petunia shows up with a bunch of bags. Petunia's parents had dumped her on us for the summer. She spent the entire time making our lives miserable because we couldn't afford the things she's used to. All attempts to contact her mother are ignored because they're on vacation in Europe. Dad doesn't want to call the police because he feels bad for Petunia. Petunia leaves and we think slash hope she'll stay away. Nope. She shows up three years later with a baby and tries to get Lily to babysit because you're the oldest. You're old enough to have kids of your own, so this will be good practice for you. Lily declines. She doesn't actually like children and says something along the lines of the only babies I will ever care for are them, meaning her cats. Petunia refuses to accept this and keeps hounding her to babysit because we're family. 
Lily flat out tells her, you can't pull that card on me. I said no and I mean it. She tries to pull this stunt on all of us, but fails. This leads to angry rants on Facebook about how we're ruining her life and keeping her from enjoying her youth. Again, this is ignored. Now we come to the main issue. Two days ago, Petunia showed up at the house claiming she wanted to talk to Dad. No one else was home and he told her to wait in the living room as he wouldn't be long. He finished what he was doing and came back to find she was gone. He just shrugged it off. Mum and Lily come home an hour later and when Dad mentioned the visit, they all thought it was weird. An hour later, I come home and Lily was frantically looking for her cats. It's assumed they got out when Petunia came over or she let them out. Lily is having a full-on panic attack and Dad ends up calling an ambulance because she passed out. She ends up in the hospital and mum stays with her. Meanwhile, me and dad keep looking for the cats. I'm keeping in contact with mum via text and she lets me know Lily is being admitted for observation. Dad and I are terrified because we know if we don't find those cats, or worse, find them dead, Lily will go downhill. Right when we're about to give up, we get a call from my older brother. I'm sure it won't surprise anyone to learn Petunia had taken the cats during her visit. She had taken them to a shelter, the one he worked at, claiming the cats need to be put down. He didn't see Petunia turn them in because he was in the back, but he recognized the fur balls and got Dad to come get them. Now Dad is working on filing a lawsuit for stolen property and the harm she's done to Lily. The icing on the cake was when Dad texted Petunia to ask why she did it. She claimed, because now Lily can babysit without worrying about those horrible creatures. Smiley face. Jesus, tap dancing Christ. This girl is absolutely vile. If you want to enjoy your youth, don't get knocked up, you cow. And don't steal other people's pets when you don't get your way. It was bloody lucky she took them to the same shelter Opie's brother worked at. What are the odds? I'm glad that dad is filing a lawsuit. He should. This brat deserves to have the book thrown at her. There are a couple of updates to this post, so let's see if that did happen. Lily is back home. Yay! The doctors ran a number of tests on her. They told my parents the stress caused something called broken heart syndrome, which she is now on medication for. Dad asked if this could have killed her, and the doctor basically said it was very close to a heart attack. Dad filed a police report and Petunia was arrested. But it gets better. When they caught her, she was apparently on probation for a DUI. And get this, she had a ticket to Italy in her bag, leading the officers to safely assume she was trying to flee the country. This was a against her probation. Not only that, my brother was able to go back to the shelter and found the login sheet for the day she turned in the cats. She had signed Lily's name. Now we're looking at a possible case of fraud. A restraining order has been put into the works with every member of my immediate family being placed on it so she can't contact us. Her mother and stepfather are threatening to sue us for harassment since apparently it's our fault she's now in custody. To protect ourselves further, we've deleted all forms of social media. Update 2. The case against Petunia is still ongoing. Although her family threatened to sue us, nothing has happened. I honestly don't think any attorney would take their case given Lily ended up in the hospital. Plus, they're now facing jail time. They had tried to buy Petunia's freedom. When that didn't work, they tried to bribe us into dismissing the charges. Then we started getting threats. We've since moved in with another family in an effort to get away from them. The baby they were trying to foist onto my sister has now been taken in by the father and his family because, shock, neither Petunia nor her parents were seen as fit guardians. Petunia has been sent to prison for driving on a suspended license, multiple DUIs, child endangerment, theft, assault, extortion, and a whole list of other things. Not sure if there will be any further charges against her because of her family, but frankly, I don't care. After this is over, I'm done. I'm not surprised. Opie and her family have gone through a lot. Petunia's parents sound like the kind of people that are used to getting their way. I'm willing to bet that's because they have, thanks to their money. I'm glad it hasn't worked out this time and that Petunia got done in. What a complete bitch. Which is kind of amazing considering her bio father, Opie's dad, sounds like a good man. Does this prove upbringing and not biology determines one's behavior? Or is it a combination of both? I have no idea. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comments below. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.